championship game for the first time in eight years. The Wildcats meeting up with Lincoln North Star in the semifinals this evening. Second quarter, it's Nora Gessert for three. Millard West up 29 to eight, looking good early later in the second. More from the Wildcats, it's Kylie Pabin putting it in for two. Millard West starting to run away with it, and Coach Kruger can feel it. Still in the second, the sister act, Neely Gessert over to Nora for three. She had a game high 20 points as Millard West is headed to the state championship game. Your final in this one, final score 59 to 24. Meanwhile, Bellevue West taking a 13 game winning streak into the other semifinal facing Lincoln Southwest second quarter. Naomi White finds Danielle Coyer fighting down low for two T-Birds trail by one at the break. The fans though still excited. In the third, more from Bell West. It's Mia McVeigh taking it in for two, a back and forth battle in this one. Coach Bacon saying, all right, it's time to bring home the bacon, and that's exactly what the T-Birds do. White with the putback hoop and the harm, and for the first time in 10 years, Bellevue West will play for a state title, the final in this one, 57 to 51. Meanwhile, earlier today, Husker signee Britt Prince and Elkhorn North trying to move one win away from a four-peat. The Wolves taking on Beatrice for a spot in the Class B championship game. Prince, of course, coming off that 33-point performance in round number one in the first quarter. Prince here with the steal. She's headed the other way for two. She finished with a triple-double, 21 points, 13 boards, 10 assists. Then later in the first half, more from the Wolves. Prince finding Sydney Stodden for two. Elkhorn North up at that point, 26-22, and their fans Fired up third quarter. Wolves get some separation. Prince finding Reese Booth who gets the bucket and the Band-Aid as the Wolves now one win away from a four-peat. They take it 59-49. to Meanwhile, Omaha Scott Catholic taking on a Gretna East in the other semifinal. In the third quarter, the Griffins' Haley Levinson hitting the three ball, but Gretna East still down big. Then later in the third, the Skyhawks with the answer. Addison Burt going to find Cameron Kasner as Scott starts to pull away and their fans raising the roof at PBA. Then one more for good measure, Molly Ladwig, two of her game high 13 points. Scott Catholic cruises to the championship game 45-28. They'll get Elkhorn North for the third straight year in the final. C2 semifinal, UTAN and their colorful fan base facing Bishop Newman. Late fourth quarter, the Cavs, Jill Johnson. It's Bridget Whitney for the two in the tattoo. Newman takes a two point lead, but the Chieftain's not gonna be denied tonight. Jade Lewis, Hits the bucket, that gives them the lead for good. And for the first time in program history, UTAN headed to the state championship game, your final 45-39. Oh my gosh, this is the first time that UTAN has ever like been in a state championship for girls, and it means the world to us. We worked so hard to get here. I couldn't be more proud of the team, more proud of the community, just their support and everything that means so much for us.